Hi folks, uh, this uh, geometry lesson is on proving statements on segments and angles. Okay, let's let's go ahead and begin. Okay, let's uh, do the board problem here. Use the figure to answer the following. Okay, we got this figure with these angles 1, 2, 3, 4. If the measure of angle 1 equals 74, so I'm going to put a 74 right there, then what's angle 2? Can you see 1 plus 2 equals a, a straight line right there? I'll draw that straight line. See that red line right there? Straight lines are always 180, so if that's 74, I'm going to need 106 more to get me that 180 right there. Okay, you'll use that trick from now on, you guys. Straight lines are always 180. All right, okay, number two, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, 128. So now this is gone now, so uh, we're doing a different problem. So I'm going to put 128 right there, and they want to know what's angle four. These guys are called vertical angles, so they're always congruent. Vertical angles are always congruent. All right, and this says, what's the relationship between 1 and 3? Those guys are also vertical angles, so that's going to be uh, choice A on that guy. Okay, they're vertical angles right there. All right, proving statements on segments and angles. Okay, we've seen these before. Reflexive, anything equals itself, so A equals A. So, for example, uh, the length of AB, remember, if there's nothing on top, it means the length of AB. The length of AB equals the length of AB. Or if there's something on top, segment AB is congruent. So segments have congruent signs, and uh, with uh, nothing on top means the lengths. The lengths have equal signs, but these guys are interchangeable. So segment AB is congruent to segment AB, uh, or angle A is congruent to angle A, or you might want to say the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle A. Okay, so um, uh, let's see. Symmetric property. These guys, symmetric property just flips around the equal sign. So if A equals B, then B equals A. That's what this says. They just flip over the equal sign right there. Um, so if C equals D, or if C is congruent to D, angle C congruent to angle D, then angle D is congruent to angle C. Transitive property. We've seen this before. If A equals B, notice that it's like a syllogism. Remember that in one of our lessons? And if B equals C, then A equals C. Okay? If, uh, if this high, uh, conclusion is this guy's hypothesis, then I can say this hypothesis is equal to this conclusion right there. Okay? All right, um, uh, so for example, if segment AB is congruent to segment CD, and notice CD picks up, segment CD is congruent to segment EF, then segment AB, AB is congruent to segment EF right there, okay? All right, uh, okay, write a two-column proof right here. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to help you with this. This is our first geometry proof right there. Okay, it looks like I have a bunch of angles in here, and, we get, and we're probably going to use the angle addition postulate because you got a bunch of angles right here. So angle or measure of angle one equals the measure of angle three, and and we want to prove that the measure of EBA is is equal to the measure of DBF. Okay, now if these M's weren't here, I'd have a congruent sign. All right, okay. Remember what I said. Trust me, we're, I'm going to build this for you guys. Okay, so I'll give you this right here, and you're supposed to give me the reason over here. Okay, can you know what the reason is right here? The first reason is almost always what was given. So that was right there next to given. So you go ahead and write given right there. Okay? All right, I'll give you this right here, and you got to tell me the reason right here. Okay? This one smells angle addition postulate. Let's go see. Okay, 3 plus 2. Okay, 3 plus 2 right here, and equals EBA. Okay, can you see EBA is the sum of the two little angles right there? Yep, that's angle addition postulate. So you guys got to come up with that part right there. All right, now this part right here, EBA, look, I have EBA again. Instead of 3 plus 2, it has 1 plus 2. Okay, now right here, I'm going to highlight it in red, you guys. Can you see? Can you see angle 1 and angle 1? I just substituted it in for this angle 3 right there. So angle 1 equals angle 3 right there. So instead of having angle 3 right there, I'm going to substitute angle 1 in there. Substitution is, is almost in every single proof, you guys. Substitution property. Okay, so that's substitution property. All right, now let's look at this one. 1 plus 2 equals DBC. Okay, let's go back up here. 1 plus 2. Okay, DBC. DBC. Okay, that's an angle addition postulate again. So put that in right there. All right, now, okay, let's see. What am I going to do now? Okay, 1 plus 2, I am going to say, uh, uh, okay, look, I have 1 plus 2 right here equals EBA. I have 1 plus 2 right here equals DBC. Check this out, you guys. Uh, I have EBA equal to DBC. 
All right, I would take substitution property on here, but I want you to recognize I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to make this one gold, this one red, and notice here's red again. I'm going to underline that in red, and then this guy is something else is purple. Can you see these guys match up right here? So I can say this piece equals this piece, gold equals purple by the transitive property. Okay, you can say substitution property also if you want it on that, but that one's a transitive property. Okay, that's your first geometry proof right there. All right, and it, it just go back and you can you can rewind if you want and see that again. Let's try another one right here. We okay, given we got this segment right here, given AC AC equals AB plus AB. Hmm. Prove AB equals BC. All right. I'm going to build this one with you guys, so I'm going to give you all of that and you got to fill it in, you guys. All right. Okay, so the per first part is the given. So you put this stuff in right here. That's the given right here. Okay? The second part says segment addition postulate. Let's go up here. Piece plus piece equals the whole piece. So right there, write AB, the length of AB, plus the length of BC equals the length of AC. That's what goes right here. Segment addition postulate. Piece plus piece equals whole piece. All right. Now, I am going to, what am I, oh, right here, you guys. It says AB plus BC, AB, sorry, equals AB plus BC. All right, can you see these guys both have AC happening right there? So I'm going to highlight those in red right there. And notice this is a substitution property. Instead of having, um, uh, instead of having uh, AB, I just substituted in AB equals AB plus BC. Can you see? They're both equal to each other, so this guy equals this guy right here, substitution property. And then now I want to get AB equals BC. That's always your last statement right here, AB equals BC. And what I did is I took away the ABs from both sides. I subtracted one AB from both sides, so, so I'm going to get subtraction property on that. All right, okay, so name the property illustrated. I know those are kind of leery for you. Trust me, just just baby step. You'll get through them, you guys. I promise. Just don't give up. Don't put those walls up, uh, and we'll get through them step by step. Okay, if angle R equals angle T, and angle T equals angle P, then R equals P. Can you see transitive property happening right there? Okay, how about this one? If NK is the segment NK is congruent to BD, then segment BD is congruent to segment NK. Okay, those guys flipped around the congruent symbol. That is symmetric property. When they flip around the equals or congruent signal. Okay, number three, anything equals itself, reflexive property. All right, and that's, uh, I'm going to be done on that. Looks like we're coming up with a test soon. That's the end of the chapter.